Good morning. Hi, everyone. You know what today is. It's Monday. Happy Monday. It's a new week. I am excited to be with you here again this morning. I'm Anna Gibbs, and it's Monday Morning Mojo. Welcome to your week. So I'm going to give everyone a chance to get on here. And uh, as always, I'm excited to be with you and excited to speak with you this morning. It really is my pleasure to do this every week. And I look forward to it. I hope you do too. So today I am going to pay um, homage to a iconic thought leader, uh, someone that I have been following for a long time, uh, someone who has written several books and has spent his most of his life dedicated to helping other people really grow personally and achieve their dreams. And that person is Bob Proctor. Um, so for those of you who uh, may not know, Bob Proctor passed away last week at the age of 87. Uh, he was a, an author, uh, a lecturer, a speaker, and uh, probably best known for his um, best-selling book, You Were Born Rich. And Bob was featured in the um, movie and the book, The Secret. And um, so he has uh, long been teaching the law of attraction. And um, for, again, for those of you who may not know, um, Bob talked a lot about his upbringing, which was very poor. Uh, he uh, struggled with a learning disability. And at that time, no one really understood that. He dropped out of school. He suffered from low self-esteem and uh, really you know, had a rough go at first. And uh, it wasn't until he started to learn more about applying positive psychology and expanding his mindset and really understanding more about behavior and how that behavior can shape your life. Uh, and that's when things started to change for him. And so, you know, throughout his, his work, he talked about the inner self. And I think it's a great time for us to have this conversation. Uh, and I'm going to teach this morning from some of Bob's material. Uh, and so I'm going to encourage you to take notes and write things down that resonate with you. And, uh, you know, that way you'll have an opportunity to reflect on it later. And, and more importantly, put it into action, because that's what changes things is, is putting it into action. Um, and so, as I said, Bob really taught the, the power of the mind and what he meant by the law of attraction. Um, as a matter of fact, I think in the secret, he might be the one who really explains what the law of attraction is. Um, and basically all this is, is understanding the power of tapping into the inner self and how powerful we are as individuals and how powerful our mindset is. And so Bob would explain that the inner self is what is controlling all your thoughts and behaviors. And that if you have a poor self-image, it's going to affect your performance. And if you have the ability to shift that paradigm and reprogram your thoughts, you will see your entire life can change. And I think that's just so exciting because to know that you have that ability, you, to know that you have the control and anytime you desire to change the way you think, and therefore you'll change how you feel, which will change the things that you're doing and the results that you're getting. And, and so it's that, it's that flow. And um, so Bob would teach that a person's mind and body also vibrates. And so we talk a lot about energy here on Mojo. Uh, and so that's the vibration that we wanna tap into uh, and understanding how to move that vibration into something much more vast and expansive in our thoughts that is positive and encouraging uh, and, and you know, that we have the ability to do so. Um, so I, I believe, like Bob does, uh, that the secret is really um, not such a secret when you understand how the law of attraction works. I think that it, it's a journey to discovery. So I would say, you know, I write that down. The law of attraction is a journey to discovery and, and really it's to, to discover more about your inner self, your inner capability. And it is about really knowing that the power lies within. 
and that you do not need to be a victim of your circumstances, that your past does not determine your future. And while all the things that we've experienced up until today have shaped us and molded us, uh, it's about taking those, those lessons from our experiences and really allowing us to learn, to adjust, to, to modify, you know, to look at things differently so that we grow forward, right? We grow forward. Um, and so in all of that, it's knowing that you create the life that you want. You create the life that you want to live, the life by design. If there is anything in your life right now that is causing you any kind of unhappiness, stress, what can you do to change it? And, um, and I recognize that some things might feel easier to change than other things, yet we do have so much control over our environment, over our thoughts, over our circumstances. And so while it might not be easy, it could be simple. It could be simple. Um, and so the secret changes every aspect of your life. Once you start to understand manifestation and how your thoughts become things, your entire world changes. And I know this from my own experiences. Um, you know, it's about creating the future you want to step into. And so this can change um, a lot of things about the trajectory of your life, because the universe is here to support you. And the universe wants you to succeed. The universe wants you to stop making excuses or standing in your own way of your growth and development. And so in knowing that we have to do our part. We have to work together with the divine, with the universe for us to create that life. And um, we know that all creation starts on the inside. Creation starts on the inside, right? So we know that about how we re reproduce and procreate. We know that about our thoughts. So I'm gonna ask you today to examine what is on the inside. Examine what your thoughts are saying about your ability today and how can you shift your thinking so that you suddenly see more opportunity and possibility around you. So I think that um, most people struggle with this and I, I get that. Uh, and this takes the um, patience to apply it as, as, as well as to learn it. Um, and I think that we have to know we have this inner advantage. We have the ability to really create and change the course of the life that we're on. Um, and I think the first thing is, is to really get clear about our reality. And so if, if you understand everything that I've set up till now, then if you're serious about creating the life that you want, the fastest way to do that might be to say today is a new start kind of wipe the slate clean, right? Because like I said, it's not about what happened to you in the past. It is about where you want to go right now into the future. And so if you really look at this as your opportunity, sit down sometime today and write it out. Just write out a few statements about what you want your life to look like. How do you want to work? How do you want to live? How do you want to play? How do you want to feel in your relationships? How do you want to contribute to the world, connect with people, right? Um, I've shared with you the Wheel of Life exercise, which is um, available to you on the Mojo page in our files. Use that today as a way to assess where you are in every area of your life and look at how can I move the needle even just one point, right? It's not about moving the needle always from a six to a 10, but could I move that needle from a six to a seven and then from a seven to an eight? But at the end of it all, it's knowing that you have the control to do that. You can, you can make those decisions and really, you know, start to see different things happening. And so if you were to create a practice around visioning and, and creating powerful thoughts around where you want to be and what you want your future to be, you're sending a message to your unconscious mind. And your unconscious mind is here to serve you. And your unconscious mind is really where the goal achieving happens. Now, in your conscious mind is where the goal setting happens. In our conscious mind, right, that is where the learning is, is brought in, the, all the things that we're learning and haven't been taught, right, the things that we're reading, that's, that's brought in through the conscious mind. But it's in the unconscious mind 
where the power is for us to achieve whatever we want. But the unconscious mind needs direction. The unconscious mind needs to know what, how to serve you and how to deliver. And so by creating the goals, by creating the vision, by writing out the action steps, you're sending information to your unconscious mind. It's like marching orders. And now your unconscious mind is saying, okay, got it. Let's, let's make this happen. And then you'll see how your, when your thoughts and your actions line up, your emotions are in, in place and you, you're really acting at a high level of energy. And that's where creativity opens up. That's where opportunity shows up. That's where your, your logical problem solving kicks in. And so you, you really set yourself on a path to not only attract the opportunities, but to, to seek them and to create solutions and to move forward. And, and so it changes the entire emotional state and that's when things start happening. And so many people might think the law of attraction is about calling something in and just wishing it to be, but it's not. It's really about having the plan, the vision, having the thoughts to support it, to revisit it every single day. And, and to really, I think that's a form of reverse engineering, you know, so if you see yourself living in a certain home or you see yourself, you know, working your business at a certain level, or you see yourself writing that book, play that movie every day, play that movie every single day, allow your thoughts to line up with that goal, allow your emotions to line up with that goal. And you'll be amazed how things start falling into place and you start working at a different level and every step you take brings you there. Um, and that's really what the law of attraction is about. So, um, some other things that, you know, Bob has taught us over the span of his lifetime uh, is that, as I've said to you this morning, it really is about changing the way you think. And uh, it's a challenge for some of us because, you know, we're not always taught in school how to think critically. And that's really what this requires. It requires you to be able to think critically. Uh, and um, it's, it's really about understanding how to create solutions and allow yourself to move past the roadblocks, move past the obstacles, um, because we're so capable. We're capable of, of such amazing things that we don't realize. And so it's about continuing to push our own potential. Write that down, push your own potential. And it is really about knowing that the subconscious mind wants to align with the conscious mind. It wants to vibrate at its highest level of frequency to allow you to call in all these opportunities. And it is about taking action. At the end of the day, it is your action, your activities that change things. And so that is, that is the key. So I want to start to sum up some of these things that we've been talking about this morning and give you sort of a, a list. Um, so I'm going to read from my notes. Uh, so, and by the way, um, the book that I mentioned earlier in the call is Think and Grow Rich, uh, which is not a Bob Proctor book, uh, but Bob's um, other uh, publication that you uh, may want to check out, uh, which is definitely a bestseller, was You Were Born Rich. You Were Born Rich. And Think and Grow Rich is another book that really puts all of this into, into format. Okay, so the first step in creating the life that you want, number one, build the image, right? Create an image around the ideas that you wanna have. Create an image, a visual picture so that your mind can see it like a movie, okay? And so you wanna be able to tap into the subconscious process and your subconscious mind sees pictures. If I said to you a red fire truck, I'm going to bet a million dollars that you saw the picture of a red fire truck, whether it was a real fire truck, a cartoon, whatever, you saw a fire truck. You didn't see the words red fire truck, you saw the picture. And so your, your subconscious mind sees things in terms of images. So that's why visualization and creating that movie is so powerful. Now, another thing to know about your subconscious mind, as I said, it's here to serve you. It's here to serve you. It doesn't have its own will, right? It's really here as, as kind of like your genie in the bottle. Uh, if you want to, you know, create uh, this super powerful force uh, that grants your wishes, tapping into the subconscious mind is the way to do that. Okay. 
The second step in creating the life that you want uh, is to internalize or get emotionally involved with the image you create. Okay, internalize or get emotionally involved with the image you create. So not only to see it, but to feel it. So if I use an example of uh, creating a goal around having your dream home, picture yourself walking around, feel the countertop uh, under your fingers in the kitchen, see yourself cooking a special meal, see yourself enjoying family and friends in your home, uh, picture the way you'll decorate the bedroom. Picture yourself getting up in the morning, making coffee and looking out a, a window at a beautiful view. Uh, hear the birds, feel the breeze, know the area or the town you want to live in. Create this movie that you can feel emotionally connected to, that it creates these emotions of pleasure and joy, right? And that that's how we move into you know, how, how the movie creates that powerful force in our RAS, our reticulator, reticulating activating system in our brain. That's what changes our vibration. And that's the next step, right? We have to vibrate at such a high level that we want to attract this reality in our lives, right? And so uh, when you start to internalize that, your subconscious mind kicks in, your emotional mind kicks in, you're vibrating at a high level, you can feel it physically, all those things start to line up and you become this force of nature, right? So we use that term sometimes, but think about it. Have you ever seen someone in action and say, they are a force of nature? What makes that true, right? That's the effect you're creating in your life when all those things line up, you become a force of nature. The, the next step, right, is, is to make sure that you are attracting what you feel is really in alignment for you, that you're attracting what's in harmony for you. And so that's why it's so powerful to line up our thoughts, our feelings, and our actions. Because when those three things are, are in alignment and we are acting according to our value system, well, then we're living life at, at a really spectacular level and, and we feel gratitude and we feel fulfillment and we feel positive and that just calls in more abundance, right? Because abundance brings abundance. But if you're acting out of alignment with what you truly want, if you're acting or thinking out of alignment with your values, well, that's going to cause stress. And that stress breaks the pattern of thoughts, feelings, and actions being lined up. And then you're not going to have the results that you're seeking. And so it is really about knowing how to act in, in alignment or harmony with all of those things. Because you don't attract what you want, you attract how you think. And, and I say that because you could say you want certain things, but your thoughts reveal something else. So I'm going to say that again, because I feel like that's something that maybe some of you need to hear. We don't attract what we want. We attract what we think and how we think. And so we have to get clear about that. So if you say you want certain things in your life, well, I'm going to challenge you to ask yourself, are my thoughts and feelings lining up with that? Am I acting true to what I say I want? Or, or is there a disconnection? And how do I bring myself back into alignment? So remember, your subconscious mind is here to serve you. So those thoughts, if they're not in alignment, is sending a mixed message to your subconscious mind. And on a bigger scale, I, I know for sure that the universe is here to support you. Um, you know, I shared something on my social today, one of my favorite Bible verses, and, you know, whatever your beliefs are is fine, but I think anyone could take comfort in this one, that God or the divine or the universe has great plans for you. Um, and so this is, I think, such a key part of creating our 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 life by design is knowing that we can do that in tandem with the universe and that the universe is a good place that wants to provide you with great opportunity. And I know that in a time like this, um, it can feel a little confusing or stressful at, at certain times with, you know, things that are happening around us. And I still think it's important never to lose sight that the universe is here to support you. Um, so this concept is, is powerful, right? What we're talking about this morning uh, is really powerful 
to know that we can create our thinking based in, in the reality that we want for our lives. And that we have to remember that it's not just saying we want something, it's how all of that starts to line up. So if you want to do more research on this, I definitely would encourage you to read The Secret, uh, go online and, and you know, research any of the speakers in The Secret, including Bob Proctor, um, and uh, you know, really start to examine how to apply this more in your life. Um, and, and know that you, know, you have the ability to control your outcomes. And uh, I say this to you because I've done the work. You know, I say this to you because it's not just me, you know, being a student of, of these authors that I share with you periodically. It's, it's not just because, um, you know, it, it's something that I heard in a class. It's because I've applied these principles in my life. And, uh, you know, I will share with you right now, I am, I'm working and living from Arizona for the month. And, uh, you know, that to me is the manifestation of a goal that I created in a vision. Uh, and, you know, anyone could share with you, you know, that they're hitting their goals or, you know, life is great. I get to spend the winter in a nicer, you know, warmer climate or, you know, I get to travel or, you know, do the things that I'm doing, the car I drive, right? I, I mean, any of that could sound, I guess, impressive, but it's not. You know why it's, to me, impressive? Not it's not just because of the things, it's because if I said to you that 20 years ago, I could never have imagined having a life like this. If I said to you that I struggled with my own doubt and self-image, if I told you that I struggled with a uh, abusive first marriage and uh, you know, really had some very difficult times in that marriage, maybe then it would start to, to be a more inspiring uh, story that my life has completely changed. Um, and it has because of the way I changed how I thought and how I started to do things differently. So my loves, if I can do it, you can do it too. Uh, and so it's about creating your life by design. And it's about creating an alignment in what you say you want and how you think and what you do, right? So it's not about creating anything about my life or someone else's life, uh, which can be a challenge, right? Because we follow things on people on social media and we see the images of, of people's lives and some of it may not always be true. Um, but it's, it doesn't matter, right? Because you don't have to watch that reel. You don't have to follow that person. You have to create your own movie in your own mind. And you have to ask yourself, what is that life that I want to live? What, what are the images I want to play over and over in my mind? And then one day wake up and find that I'm actually in the movie, right? It's no longer the movie. It's my reality. And so I'm going to challenge you today, create your reality, uh, decide today, what does the next month look like for you? What does the next year look like for you? What does the next five years like, look like for you? What do you really, really want? Get clear, create that image, play it over and over again in your mind. Maybe you want to create a um, dream board or vision board where you can put those images in front of you. Uh, I highly recommend that. It is a powerful way for your unconscious and conscious mind to work together to truly deliver what it is you say you want. And, and for you to really get mindful about your thoughts, for you to really be conscious and aware of what you're thinking, because those thoughts are shaping your reality every day. And we are talking to ourselves all day long and you are listening. So choose your words carefully. Be sure that your words are empowering that they're strong, that they are positive, uh, and that they are really encouraging you to be the best version of yourself. So um, God bless Bob Proctor. I'm really uh, grateful for his teachings. And uh, I am really excited that I was able to share that a little bit with the, of, of that with you this morning. Um, so if you have any other questions or thoughts on this, feel free to reach out to me uh, in addition to doing your own research. And I think that um, to sum this up, remember you are the master of your destiny and you have the ability to really shape your world by getting your, your thoughts in alignment with what you say you really want so that you can attract it because it's not 
It's not about what you want. It's about what you think. All right, everyone, have a great day. I appreciate you so much. And I will see you back here next Monday. Take care.